What's up guys, this is your man Gitke once again and in today's video I'm going to show you how to retouch male portraits perfectly in Photoshop or how you can master male portraits retouching in Photoshop. So this was some of the test shots I did with my assistant when we got our new grey backdrop. Yes, so I want to retouch one of them to show you how to be able to retouch a male portrait in Photoshop. So we are going to drag this into Photoshop and then we do some little color correction in camera roll and then we come back to Photoshop to do the retouching. So it's going to be a full complete uh, editing tutorial so kindly stay tuned to the end. And the image has been opened in camera roll and I'm using the camera roll 14.0. Yeah, so if you zoom into this image you can see it's very very sharp. These are my camera settings. I shot it at an ISO of 125 aperture of 5.6 and then a shutter speed of 1 over 160 of a second i was using the 15 millimeter lens and shot this with the canon e60 yes so with this image you can tell or you think this is perfect but you know there are lights all over and i want to reduce the highlights a little so reduce come to the basic aspects and then reduce the highlights a little and then boosting the shadows to a little and come to the haze dragging a little to clear any hazy light effects in the image yes then you can boost in the contrast a little yeah. increase the shadows too a little then we come to color mixer just tackle only the skin tone here so i just want to give the skin tone a little brightness so that's the luminance then come to calibration and then increase the blue primary and that will be all so before and after you can't really tell the difference or do it's, it's just some slight difference on it so once you are done we just open it in photoshop and then we let it or we leave it for it to load and the image has been opened in photoshop so what we are going to do is you are going to crop firstly crop our image so you can do that with just see on your keyboard you can just press your keyboard or come here to the fifth tool think here yeah, 50 on your two bar and you select your crop to and then make sure you select the four by five or you can crop it to any size you want to crop your images here yes. so i want to i want to crop in a little a little tight in shorts yes so uh, uh just this way we'll do i want a little gap above his head and this grid lines is helping me to frame my shot very well yes always keep your subject in the middle yes. or part most part of the subject in the middle yes i can tell this is a very good crop so let's check the navigator here and this is awesome yeah so firstly we are going to duplicate the background and then you zoom in go for your blemish removal spots healing brush and then you take out the blemishes yes. so we are going to do that quickly i'm going to speed up this aspect i have a whole video showing you how to take out blemishes and images so catch me when i'm done yeah so after we are done taking out the blemishes in our image we are going to duplicate the background twice and this i'm going to show you how to create frequent separation layers for retouching a male portrait so for the sake of this education, I'm going to name the layers for you to get it or understand it better. So we are going to name this blur and then name this texture. So that's where our texture is going to be. Yes. And then we turn the eye of this layer, then we focus on blur now. So the concepts that follows or that is going to help you retain textures in your male portrait retouching is the higher you take the blur radius. The more textures you keep or you retain your images so with that you come to filter go to blur go to gaussian blur and then you can set it within the range of uh one to ten that works for me some people go overboard but you should know that the higher the number the more textures you are going to retain let's say a radius of 50. you are going to retouch all right but you are not going to see the effect because there are lots of textures in it and we don't want it that way so i'm going to leave my radius to 8.0 that will do for this image 
then you click on ok and then we turn on the texture because it's blurred now so we turn on this texture and i'm going to explain certain concepts here for you to understand why we are doing all this yes so we are now going to take out the textures in the blade layer that we apply the gaussian blade to into this texture yes so what shall we do it here so go to image come to apply image and then with the blending option you go to subtract so like i said we are subtracting textures from the blade to the texture layer so it's going to be subtract then for the layer we select the blade we are telling photoshop that we want it to take details or textures from the blur layer into a texture layer so if you are not getting everything gray or in an ash form like this you should put your skill to two offset to 128 and this will do these are the settings that is going to help you create your frequency separation layers once you are done click on ok don't be scared your image is all ash yes we are not done yet so it comes your blending mode here and then take it to linear light yes, and then the image will come back to normal so now we are halfway done with our retouching so all you have to do is just group these layers and then let's name this uh male fs yes so male frequency separation yes because it's high in texture yes so i normally retouch on an empty layer some people do retouch on the blur layer which they have their own reason but it doesn't work for me in certain uh, places yes or in certain situations so for this i'm going to create an empty layer here and then i'm going to just uh work here yes work here so this is how our work is going to be i mean our brushing yes or i should put it in brush here yes perfect good so you see it took us uh, a minute for us to create this uh, action or to create this process and if you are or if you want to retouch faster or you have bulk, bulk images to work on i don't think this is the best option and so i have a retouching pack which is going to aid you in skipping all this process which is the advanced gk retouching pack which is available on my digital store going for a very affordable price for every creative out there especially for beginners yes so with that once you give it a single click it creates everything for you and you are good to go it even selects your mixer brush for you settings and everything yes and it comes with different different actions as well you have the int twice and the global dungeon and all that so i'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can check it out all right so let's get back to it right now all we have to do is go for our mixer brush right click here go to mixer brush you can copy my settings if you want to these are my settings if you want to retouch on an empty layer make sure the sample earlier is checked so what it's going to do is going to sample these two layers and then create different details in the empty layer yes and then make sure you are retouching on a clean brush or you are using a clean brush so what this uh, basically means is after every stroke the brush becomes clean for it to be applied on a different place so these are highlights mid-tones and then shadows yes so for you not to mix up all these three together this clean brush is going to aid you in doing that so before we start retouching you have to turn off the texture eye and then the image becomes blurred so that's when we can work so you take your time and then brush the skin perfectly So once you are brushing, make sure you are not dragging shadows to highlights and highlights to shadows as well. Same for mid-tones, yes. And make sure you follow how the skin moves, yes. You can sometimes move in a circular form to mix the skin tone over there. So this, I'm currently working on highlights, which I'll be cha channeling or I'll move into the uh, mid-tones very soon, yes. How do you see it? Channeling, yes. So I'll be moving to the shadows aspect very soon. Yes. 
So once you are retouching, you have to take your time. You don't have to overdo it. So let's see what we've done so far for just this, what we've done right now. So we turn it back on. And this is how we've retouched the forehead at the same time, retain textures. So the before and after, before and after. Yeah, so let's continue. We turn off the eye, then we brush. So you take your time to do it. You don't overdo it. Yes. So you should always keep it in mind that you can mess up an image with retouching. You can also enhance an image or yes, you can enhance image with retouching. And the main motive behind retouching is to enhance it. So if you are destroying it, you should know you are doing it the wrong way. So you take your time, brush on the skin. Remember, it's a male you are retouching. So you don't have to smoothen out the skin too much. Yes. In the end, it has to look very natural, realistic. At the same time, you smoothen out the skin and retain textures. So you take your time to do it take your time so very soon i'll be doing a behind the scenes video on this particular shoot they're going to redo it yes but it's basically going to be on camera settings for studio shoots so if you want me to go on with that you can comment in the comment section yes for me to know how interesting or interested you are for this uh, upcoming behind the scenes and also you can go check out our digital store we have amazing products over there it's going to help you in your retouching game so if i've used my action i would have been done by now yes. but because i want you to understand it far better so you understand why you are purchasing my products yes. so that is how it works and retard this aspect so you take your time and do it because if you overdo a certain part you are going to mess up the image so you apply a little on the mark mm. yes the one thing i like about retouching on the empty layer is you can as well take your eraser and clean certain unwanted parts of your retouching. Yes. So let me find the edges a little. Yes. And we are good to go. So we turn it back on. And this is how we've retouched our male portrait. Yes. It has been retouched alright, but we can still see textures in it. Yes. So before and after before and after yes and this is how you retouch and retain textures whilst doing a male portrait retouching in photoshop yes. so with this he didn't open his eyes nor his teeth so we are not going to do eye teeth whitening for this i like how the highlights and shadows are on this image so no need for dodge and burning yes the fact that you can do something doesn't mean you should do it always keep this in mind because you can do dodge and bend doesn't mean you should apply to each and every image you work on if the image is already looking good do not apply it if it's not necessary don't do it yes. so this is where i end today's tutorial and catch us on another educative video like we did today and see ya